Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and to a video on how to land a 747. We'll start as we get the intercept heading onto the ILS 06 in Luxembourg and then all the way down to touchdown. But before we start, I want you to know that I wasn't 100% happy with my landing and why that is so, I'll explain at the end of the video. Grab pen and paper for this one and let's get started. Kallax 49er uniform, good morning, wind 030 degrees, 5 knots, 106 Kettland. As you can see in this video here, we are at a 90 degree angle to the final approach course. Um, the flaps 5 are already set, the autopilot is disengaged. Kallax 49er uniform, turn left, heading 090, cleared ILS 06. Left heading 090, cleared ILS 06, Kallax 49 uniform. Point is on the right side and arm the approach mode. 1,000 to go and the approach is armed. And you just heard the air traffic controller clearing us for the approach onto the ILS runway 06 in Luxembourg. So what do I mean by pointers are on the correct side? That means that the localizer and the glide slope are on the side that I want them to be for me to intercept the ILS. And after I have confirmed that, I ask my captain to arm the approach mode. Now, as we are nearing into the final approach point, I'm asking for flaps 10 to reduce the speed. And flaps 10. Flaps moving 10, localized. Checked. And my colleague just confirmed that the localizer is alive, so the localizer is coming in. Glide slope capture, 3,000 feet, Mr. Put off to set. Then I say glide slope captured, meaning we are now over the final approach fix, and then we have 3,000 feet for the misapproach altitude that is set. I confirm that. And Carglux 49 uniform established 06. Carglux 49 uniform contact tower 118 to 105. 118105 by Carglux 49 uniform. My captain then notified Luxembourg approach that we are established on the ILS. He then hands us over to tower control. Tower, good morning, Carlux 49 uniform established 06. Carlux 49 uniform, good morning, wind 030 degrees, 5 knots, 106, clear to land. Clear to land 06, Carlux 49 uniform. So my captain again lets the tower know that we are established on their eyeless approach from we 06. The tower control immediately gives us clear to land. There was a clear day, there was no traffic ahead of us. And you can also see how my captain turns on the landing lights, meaning it is an acknowledgement that we have received the landing clearance for the tower control that he sees we're turning on the landing lights. And it's also an indication for us that whilst we're doing the approach, whatever, and we, we're questioning, do we have clear to land or not? We'll just look at the landing lights and know that we already received it. Lima uh, uniform November proof to leave. Flaps 20 speed. Asking for gear down flaps 20 is a standard call out under 747. Obviously, I need to slow down all the way into the uh, final approach speed. Flaps moving 25. V ref plus 5 and landing checklist. Landing checklist complete. Landing checklist complete. I'm clear to land. Okay, so flaps 25 is the final flap setting, and then I ask for V ref plus 5 and the landing checklist. And as this is in the dash 8, we have an electronic checklist, so my captain just pressed the electronic checklist button, confirmed that everything is green. And I confirm by landing checklist complete. So now you can see me trimming, just trying to get the right pitch and power setting. Approaching zero, six. RAAS letting us know that we're approaching the right runway. Five hundred feet stable. Checked. Five hundred feet stable call. Flaps 
The next will be a radio automata, automatic call out. Plus 100. Checked. Letting us know we're 100 feet above the minimums. Minimum. Continue. Minimum checked. call out. I approve that by saying continue and my captain says checked. So now I 50, 40, break the 30, descent rate. 20, 10. Throttle back at 30 feet. Initiate the flare. Speed Touch breaker. down. Immediately apply reverse thrust. Ref green. My captain acknowledged speed brakes up or extended and reverses are green. Kerlock 49, a uniform left, Charlie, to open proper 7, Eddie. Uh, it's going to be the next one, Kerlock 49, uniform. Uh, and I at 70 knots, the then I retract <laughs> the reservers to idle reverse. Okay. Are uh, we past the 70? Yeah. Manual brake. Manual brakes, disengaging the auto brake system. You have my controls. controls. Okay. And handing over the controls to my captain. All so right. now the roles reverse, she is now pilot flying and I'm pilot monitoring, so I now have to perform all the duties on ground and she is fully focused on taxiing. So I have to do ATC and all uh, further procedures, as she will announce in a second, the after landing And the procedure. after landing. Roger, after landing. Oh, good morning, left to 9 uh, to Mike, double start at 06, 7 out. Okay, and then we taxi into the gate. Let's look at my landing one more time and I'll show you what I'm a little bit unhappy with with this landing. Okay, so we come in, we're fully minimum. established, we pass the minimum and we continue the approach. So the next step is at 50 feet, I break the 50. descent rate from 700, 800 feet as it was at that time, uh, depending on the ground speed we had that day. And then at 30 feet, I throttle 40, back 30. and initiate the flare. And I'll show you what I've done incorrectly here. At the 10 20, feet call, 10. I pulled a little bit too aggressive on the yoke to try and to get it a nice and soft landing. And the reason therefore is we were landing on runway 06. And runway 06 is quite famous for, for a little bit more bumpy landings. And the primary reason therefore is because it is an upsloping runway, meaning the runway is actually coming towards you as you land. And I was trying to avoid that. And I was a little bit too aggressive on the flare, meaning that the plane actually leveled off for a little second and then touched down. And I wanted it to be exactly in the touchdown zone, which I have overflown a little bit and I landed a little bit after the touchdown zone. I was within limits but still, I could have done that a little bit better if it would have been exactly at the spot where I wanted it to be. And then you see the speed brake goes up, the reverses immediately open, and then we slow down on the runway. Everything was fine. So reviewing my own landing was really, really a great help because I can see what I've done wrong. I know what I've done wrong now. And so I know for the future flights that I will be a little bit gentle on initiating the flare, not as aggressive as it was in this video. But other than that, everything was safe. Is The Luxembourg runway is four kilometers long. It was a dry day. We actually quite light. We only had 287 tons as landing weight. If you compare that to the maximum landing weight, that was a piece of cake for the 747-8 that day. And also I want to say a huge thank you to my captain for allowing me to do that. And my colleague who's sitting behind me recording my approach and landing. And also a big thank you for my company for approving this video. Really, really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some good takeaways from it. I have to admit that I like analyzing my own flights as I can learn from them as much as you can. And on that bombshell, here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check. Activate the notification bell, check. I follow my Instagram account, check. Perform a touch and go at my website, check. And don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Wishing you all the best, your Captain Joe.